टूडे वी उल लार्न ह्वाट इज डिओ एंड डिओ पॉइंट डेसक्रिप्शन अफ वेट एंड ड्राइ बाल्ब हाइग्रोमिटार उदाउट नोईंग द फांगशन अब दिस एपार्टस इट उल नट बी पसिबल टू फाइंड आउट डिओ पॉइंट एंड एगेन उदाउट फाइंडिंग डिओ पॉइंट we will not be able to determine the relative humidity of any place last of all we will determine dew point problems on the basis of glacier's law let's start with a picture of a person who can eat a lot though the person can eat a lot the stomach of the person has a limited capacity to contain food suppose the stomach can contain only 3 plates full of fried rice let the person has eaten one plate full of fried rice out of 3 therefore still it has the capacity to hold two more plates full of fried rice until the maximum holding capacity is met isn't it after getting one plate full of fried rice the stomach is not 100% satisfied with fried rice it needs two more plates full of fried rice to get satisfied this satisfaction means that the stomach is unsaturated with fried rice the stomach will remain unsaturated until its maximum capacity to hold food is not met again let the person has eaten all the three plates full of fried rice according to the maximum holding capacity of his stomach the stomach is now 100% satisfied with fried rice this 100% satisfaction means that the stomach is saturated with fried rice now think in spite of having saturated stomach if the person tries to eat more fried rice what could be happened then obviously the stomach of the person will refuse to take those excess fried rice as a result the person will start vomiting all those excess fried rice will come out and fall down exactly the same things are happening in the atmosphere but how okay consider air instead of the stomach and consider water vapor instead of fried rice at a fixed temperature the air of fixed volume has a limited capacity to contain water vapor as like as the stomach of the person we can get fixed volume of air in two ways if the air is in a closed container at a fixed temperature or if the air is in a fixed place at a fixed temperature you may ask me sir for this picture you did not tell us about any temperature but now why temperature is needed why i will explain you later however when the air of a fixed place or the air of a closed container contains water vapor less than the maximum limit of its vapor holding capacity then we call that air is unsaturated with water vapor that means the air is not 100% satisfied with water vapor again when the air of a fixed place or the air of a closed container contains the maximum amount of water vapor we call that air is saturated with vapor that means the air is 100% satisfied with vapor within its capacity when the air in a place becomes saturated at a fixed temperature then can you tell me what will happen to the excess existing water vapor of that place yes those excess existing vapor will fall down as dew now we will learn why temperature is needed to form dew and how air becomes saturated or unsaturated 
we all know that 71% of earth is covered with water because of getting heat from sunlight this water is continuously evaporating due to constant evaporation of water water vapor is always present in the atmosphere when temperature of a fixed place increases the air molecules of that place start moving here and there as a result the intermolecular distance between the air molecules also increases with the increasing of intermolecular distance between the air molecules empty spaces also increase between them that means more and more water vapor particles get a chance to enter those empty spaces so we can say that the higher the temperature the more unsaturated the air becomes that is why we can't see any dew in summer again when temperature of a fixed place decreases the air molecules of that place come close together as a result the intermolecular distance between the air molecules also decreases with the decreasing of intermolecular distance the empty spaces between the air molecules gradually decrease that means the capacity of air to hold water vapor also decreases the lower the capacity the less water vapor will be required to saturate the air if the temperature continues to drop of a fixed place then the air will be completely saturated when it reaches in a certain temperature if the air of a place becomes saturated no excess water vapor particles can enter there these excess water vapor of that place fall down as dew that is why we can see dew in winter hopefully by now all of you understand why fixed temperature is needed now we will learn about dew point or dew point temperature many of you think that the temperature at which dew starts to form and falls down is the dew point or dew point temperature wrong thinking absolutely wrong thinking do remember this temperature will never be the dew point or dew point temperature actually the temperature just before this temperature at which the air of a place becomes 100% saturated with water vapor but no dew forms will be the dew point or dew point temperature suppose one day the air at pallavi was unsaturated with water vapor at noon at 20.1 degree celsius temperature the air became 100% saturated with water vapor by the evening at 20 degree celsius temperature but no dew was formed and then at night dew started to form and fell down on the grass at 19.9 degree celsius temperature see just before this temperature the air at pallavi became 100% saturated with water vapor but no dew was formed at this temperature so this 20 degree celsius temperature will be the dew point temperature do you understand now what dew point temperature is now look at the picture this is hygrometer we can measure the relative humidity of a particular place by using it this instrument consists of two similar mercury thermometers see there is no water connection with this thermometer this is why this thermometer is called dry valve thermometer 
the temperature reading on this thermometer is expressed by theta 1 look at this thermometer see this thermometer's bulb is covered by a wet cloth this is why this thermometer is called wet bulb thermometer the temperature reading on this thermometer is expressed by theta 2 according to glacier's law we get dew point theta equals theta 1 minus capital G times theta 1 minus theta 2 here theta 1 equals reading on the thermometer of the dry bulb or air temperature do remember the temperature of the air and the reading on the thermometer of the dry bulb are the same so if you get only air temperature given in the stimulus then air temperature will be theta 1 theta 2 equals reading on the thermometer of the wet bulb and this capital G equals glaciers constant there are different glaciers constants for different temperatures for example at 20 degree Celsius temperature glaciers constant is 1.79 and at 35 degree Celsius temperature glaciers constant is 1.60 don't worry you need not to memorize these different constants for different temperatures because you will get them in the stimulus if you get different glaciers constant for different temperatures mentioned in the stimulus at a time then do remember the constant for air temperature or the reading temperature of dry bulb thermometer must have to be taken for the value of capital G now we will determine the dew point of a particular place look at the stimulus on a certain day the reading of dry and wet bulb hygrometer are respectively 20 degree Celsius and 12.8 degree Celsius the glaciers factor at 35 degree Celsius is 1.60 and the glaciers factor at 20 degree Celsius is 1.79 determine the dew point of that day according to the stem we know dew point theta equals theta 1 minus capital G times theta 1 minus theta 2 here temperature of the dry bulb theta 1 equals 20 degree Celsius temperature of the wet bulb theta 2 equals 12.8 degree Celsius glaciers factor G equals 1.79 why 1.79 the value of capital G will always be on the basis of the temperature reading of the dry bulb thermometer or will be on the air temperature. Do you understand? Now, dew point theta equals what? We can write theta equals 20 instead of the value of theta 1 minus 1.79 instead of the value of capital G times 20 instead of the value of theta 1 minus 12.8 instead of the value of theta 2. Therefore, theta equals 7.112 degree Celsius. This is our final answer. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial.